hey people how are you all doing hope you're fine hope you're good hope you're loving yourself and others like always thank you so much for clicking if you're just passing by thank you so much uh, do not make it your last by subscribing to the channel to be part of the family and you hit the notification bell by the side of it so you get notified whenever i upload new videos and if you are returning you know you are loved you are celebrated you are appreciated right thank you so so much for your show of love um i saw something that i'm so happy and excited and i believe you will be happy as well and some of you might have heard it already like you see from the thumbnail one of us is building a search engine that can compete with google like the way he's doing it it can function um like google and youtube combined yes this is this is not someone far away from our own Ghana one of us one of our beloved is doing something that is gonna shake the world soon and you know why I'm not that surprised because I know this is who we are we are powerful we are the source of humanity so everything we need to do is in there the power the force the knowledge everything God has bestowed it on us it is in there it's just left for us to acknowledge that we are powerful beyond what they have made us to be we are powerful beyond what they have created us and tell us now this is the more reason why you should understand that our ancestors did more our ancestors did more there are lots of things that our brothers our africans our brothers and sisters do and then they claim it and then delete those people and claim those things to them and <laughs> don't you wonder why a lot of things are the way they are so a 19 year old from the university of ghana is the one creating this and you see how young he is and how innovative he is when you listen to him talk you could see that he knows where he's coming from he knows who he is as african as he is he knows where he is going as well he's so confident and i love that just watch this i will be right back to discuss more google and youtube had better watch out here comes a 19-year-old Ghanaian student who has built an online video search engine and the innovation has now caught the attention of some of the industry's big tech companies. Some critics are calling it the African YouTube. Ghanaian University student Gabriel Opare wanted to build a search engine that could challenge the dominance of Google. He taught himself how to code by taking online courses in his free time. On his quest to rival Google, the world's most popular search engine, Opare developed Mudclaw, a free search engine for videos. Mudclaw discovers and streams videos from the different locations on the internet, all in one place. Opari says it has been a learning process since it began in 2015. A lot of people haven't really supported the idea that a 19-year-old can create a video search engine that will really matter in the world. I've met people who have told me that uh, if there is a YouTube, then why would they have a need to use Matco? Uh, that is very discouraging. But uh, I believe that these, um, these are criticisms that are very constructive. I believe that my business is is good enough and that it can scale globally but that is not to say that i am closing my eyes to the faults of my business yet it is a legitimate point to say that youtube is a video hosting website there are lots of videos there and macro is also a, uh, there are lots of videos on macro as well but they are two different entities while youtube is a video hosting website macro combines the power of youtube and two other video hosting websites in order to create macro Gabriel is currently a full-time student of sociology at the University of Ghana in Accra. One of my joy again is that, you know, he's coming at a time where Africans are beginning to wake up. Gone at those times, he would have been picked out already. Because before you say Jack, like they say, he's taking off in the name of scholarship. In the name of the one to make his, his career better. In the name of the one to give him opportunities claiming that when he is in Africa those opportunities will not be there I'm happy that we are beginning to see ourselves for who we are see ourselves for the power that is within us the power we possess as people I pray we respect this gift and cherish it 
I pray the government of Ghana and other governments from everywhere. And no one thing with Africa, one thing with us is that when someone is discovering something, we are people do not want to get interested in it. And that is why before you hear anything, he's taking off. You he's taking off. So create this awareness. Share these videos to your brothers and sisters. Let them know that we have somebody from Ghana who is doing something spectacular like this. So we are aware that we have someone here. So be, by the time he's taking off, any time they are making that plans of taking him out, we will also be aware that, see, these people want to play that, that game again. And then we also circulate it among ourselves that, you know, I'm so happy because I keep seeing it that we need our platform. We as African people, we need a platform where it can only be circulated in Africa. We need, and I believe if, if, if a young man like this can create something like this, then we also have people that can create the platforms for us to, to, to relay our messages like this as well. That is the joy I have. <laughs> I woke up so happy today. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I don't know about you, how you feel about this news, but for me, I'm very happy about it. If the government can do something, cater for this young man, Provide what he needs because I know we have everything. Provide what he needs for him. Give him a conducive environment. He will be motivated to create more. This is my own opinion. And they're not just the Ghanaian government now. If the governments of Africa, all the government from different countries can put head together to lift this young man up, tell me what is there that would not be achieved. Everything will be achieved. But most of the times when things like this come up, every other person begins to shy away and then leave the, own, the government alone to work on it. Okay, they, it's from Ghana, so other, other countries don't have any. No, we should drop that ideology that we have. We are together, we are one. We are the only one that have our backs. African people, black people, we only have our backs. So if we do not start dropping off this issue of segregation, or uh, believing in these boundaries that have been created, then we will not break the limits that we're supposed to break or reach. Now, if all these governments from the, the, the whole African countries come together to lift this guy up, like I said, <laughs> I think the, the, the sky is just the beginning of where it's going to start from. The sky, it will just be the beginning. Now, how do we help him? Like you heard from him. Some persons are beginning to say, how do you think you can create something that will be, you know, people are beginning to look down on him already and it will be we ourselves who, Mm, my brother and my sister, now we, now we, now we they do one. When we see our brother rising, we want to draw him down. If you don't have anything to contribute to him, that uh, uh, word of encouragement is enough. It will go a long way in helping his psychology. Okay, telling him more that he can do more great things. But we begin to we begin to see that we want to draw him down out of jealousy, out of envy, out of wickedness. Even those within his vicinity, I believe a lot of persons have come to him and tell him things that are not even imaginable. And this is we ourselves doing this to ourselves. Yeah, we complain from outside, 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 but we ourselves, how are we taking each other? How are we looking at each other? You see your brother growing, you don't want to help him to grow. You want to drag him down because you are not the one growing. Then who will go up? Who will go up? Anyway, most of the technologies that we have if it traces back to its origin, there is a black man involved. There is an African blood there. Because <laughs> nothing can be without we. I don't know if you understand that. Nothing can be in existence without the black man involvement. Because when we are, we are involved, we are the one that sum it up. We are the source. We are the foundation. We are the origin. This cannot be disputed anywhere. Yes, before they told us we are incapable. But you can see for yourself how things are unfolding. They told us that we have nothing upstairs. They told us that we are nothing. And we, are, we, we can't be compared to anything. But things are unfolding. I am so happy that things are being the way they are. And we could see that um, there are things that we can achieve if we believe. If we believe. If we realize who we are as Africans, as the black people, as the African nation, if we realize who we are, there's nothing that will be too much for us to achieve. I believe a lot of this, uh, this very guy are out there. We have a lot of them. That's my belief. I know that. 
now this person some of them do not have this resources some of them do not know how to keep on they don't know how anybody to guide them they are just there like sheep that are there with our shepherds if we can give more attention to our community if we can give more attention to the little ones coming up if we can give more attention to ourselves genuine attention sincere attention not the attention of okay you want to know what this person is planning so that you go and sabotage that person's effort because there are people like that within ourselves africans black people if we can give genuine attention to ourselves to the young ones coming up there's a lot of things that we will not that won't pass us by but because we are so carefree that's the problem with with us we are so carefree things happen and we think it's just not forget about them and do you know why because it is the level of which they colonized us they've told us that there's nothing good that can come up there's nothing good that is in us whatever it is that comes from out is important that's why we are more concerned about what is coming from outside we want made in america made in europe made in canada made in where 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 but when it's made in africa we think it's so inferior that it cannot be used